So we finally made it to our spot, our final destination. This is where we're going to be for the night. This is beautiful. My wife will not, in places like this, I mean, we're somewhat remote. She won't camp on shore. So that's why I made sure I brought, now this is my 11 foot uh, breast catamaran. And um, we're gonna take, we're gonna basically sleep on this one because it has a drop stitch air floor. It's almost like an air mattress, but a lot more firm. This is normally where we sit down and have a fire, but we got here and uh, I decided that I was gonna move it a little closer because, again, my wife doesn't wanna sleep on shore on land. And then there's all our gear. Got some aluminum blankets and a soft blanket for my wife in there. All our food, all that good stuff. I'm gonna do some fishing while she's sleep at some point this is mother nature is over here taking some uh, film this is definitely beautiful and i can see what she's seeing so you sure you don't want to sleep on shore tonight sweetie yes i'm sure <laughs> so i guess the boat it is but it's all good now if we weren't using the boat to sleep I would take it out tonight but I know there's no way <laughs> she's gonna be on this shore by herself um, at night and that's because we do have some coyotes. I mean, I mean, we all know the coyotes aren't going to bother you as long as you don't bother them. But uh, she's seen one too many Cujo movies. I was hoping to see some big uh, bighorn ram. I think that's what they're called. Bighorn sheep, bighorn ram. Something like that. They, um, they're up in the mountains. And they, um, and people always get video of them. I never get it, but this water is beautiful. We're out here in Arizona in Black Canyon. We went to Emerald Cave earlier. I mean, it was real awesome. Been fishing all day, but I, uh, I haven't had any luck. No luck whatsoever, which is my usual here at um, Willow Beach, but more so come here to uh, camp. This is a great place to camp. Uh, a lot of people, I mean, people come here, but I don't know. You can get out to some nice parts because, I mean, most people with their boats and stuff, they aren't. Um, camping out here and then people with kayaks and canoes I, I do see some kayakers I mean there's some across the water over there you probably can't see them I mean the diehards get out here real far it's pretty awesome bring my kayak um, inflatable kayaks out here one day Mother Nature at its finest. No oh, cool little camera over there. I wonder what kind of right there by that green 51 sign. Must be doing some kind of surveillance, maybe water level surveillance or whatever. Further down the, the river, there's some like uh, little bridges along the rocks and like a zip line. They're, they said there was a gentleman that did some surveying here for some years. 
So he built himself all kind of ins and outs, easy ways to access these areas. Look how beautiful that water is. This is gorgeous. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, it's time to get this fire started. I'm going to try to do one the old school way. Um, but if all else fails, I did bring a lighter. And then we will start making our bed. <laughs> Get that gas tank out of there. And, um, and you know, have some R&R &R with the wife. 